Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I am so excited. This may look like a TN that I'm about to flip through, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it's actually a ring setup. Um, it's actually a TN that I've converted to a rings and set up. I'm so excited. So this is a B6 TN and I have put personal sized rings in it, which makes it into a sort of personal wide rings, if you will. I am not giving up my TNs, but I just really wanted to try this out. I am super, super excited to be be showing you this um, and I will explain all of the goodies as I flip through this. Um, this is a B6 uh, North Branch Leather Goods shop, um, Cherry Blossom TN. It's like a brownish pink color and I thought this was so perfect for fall. Um, I had so many leftovers from the Scribble Pins Prince Co. kit after I did my pocket setup then I just really wanted to use some more of it so I'd set this up originally as like a work planner but I've like kind of jumbled some things around and I am just really excited. So on the front here um, I this has like cream stitching and cream elastics on the inside. I just swapped the outside elastic, elastic to be um, this brown. Um, I cut the tabs to be stick out on purpose but then I forgot that I would need to leave space for this so next time I would just want to make sure that I leave space where the um, where the tabs are going to hit. Anyway, this gorgeous purple flower is from Fur and You, and then as well, um, serving no functional purpose, just decoration. I have some Studio Signe bookmark charms um, that are hanging out the bottom there. So I'm going to pop this open, and I will walk through everything um, as I am going through, and just sort of like how I intend to use this inserts. Um, it's primarily focused on work, but there's some other goodies in here um, and as well. So anyway, um, the base kit for this, like I said, is the Scribble Prince Go kit. Um, and I just had so much fun setting this up. So I have some of that paper and I laminated that for like a little bit more support and stuck a Simply Gilded bow on it. Then I have a washi card right here, um, not a real one, just decorative with a bunch of Simply Gilded washies. And as well, um, this one is a Scribble Prince Co. washi strip that came with either the kit or the July Mystery Ultimate kit, um, which these are the bows from that, uh, which was the same art. And then this is actually a sticky note that I laminated to turn into a die kit a die cut and that came with the kit as well um, and then on the front page here I have some paper that I printed from Hobby Lobby if you watched my pocket setup all of the elements in this are like the same the mixins are the same it's just um, sorry, apologies if I sound a little hoarse. I am getting a little bit of a cold, but I am trucking through. Um, and as you can see right here, so I bought some gold rings on Amazon. They were like 15 bucks. And then I just, you, I watched a video on how to put them in. It was honestly super simple. I'll probably do one on my Instagram story highlights um, so that you can see how it's done. And honestly, it takes like two seconds to snap it in. Um, this is a wide, I think it would fit better in a um, in a compact just because of the ring size I bought, but that's totally fine. It's just not gonna get like as chunky as you would expect. But anyways, this, I do have gold rings in here, um, which I was able to find on Amazon. Anyway, um, these and they, everything will be linked down in the description below as always. So this is from, this is the journaling card that came with the July mystery kit, I believe, and some of that paper that I made or that I printed myself from um, Silhouette Store. And then on the back of that, I did like the full on washi card thing, I'm a jig um, on the back side of that paper. So I love this. These heart washies are actually from the Scribble Prince Co. kit and the rest of them are Simply Gilded washies. So then what I did was I made myself like laminated divider tabs and I foiled them in gold. So I just made this like using some leaf clip art and some, some scripty fonts. So this is my weekly and then I have the tabs laminated on there as well. Um, I just think that's like really pretty. And then like I said, I actually cut these to be five by seven, even though everything else is like personal wide side size which is six seven five uh, 6.75 by 4.75 just so that the tabs would stick out a little bit more because I like that for really easy flipping. I used to be in an A5 rings like a long time ago so I know that I like certain things about that um, so which that is one of them. So I went ahead and just did that and then I just put a little bit of washi on the back there um, and then this was a vellum. If you saw my giveaway I made this vellum design um, just like using a bunch of different width lines and some different colors. Um, and then this is my weekly insert. So I actually have two different types of weekly inserts in here. Um, and you'll see that a lot in these different sections because one of the nice things about rings versus a TN is like you can move the pages all around 
like from day to day, week to week. So I wanted to have some different optionalities in here. So the first weekly insert um, is actually a daily insert, I guess. Um, and it's one that I've I just designed myself. Um, I do have this cool page marker in here that I made and punched and put a Simply Gilded bow that is all laminated together with some of the paper in there. So I can just use that to like mark my place. And then this is what a, the weekly insert looks like that I designed. So I, in the back side, just put all dock red paper. Um, and then I have like a double side bar for the week with dot grid on every side and then each day and like an hourly one and um, a thing. So I was using this for work for a little bit. Um, some weeks it's good, some weeks it's not, I don't really need it. But anyway, so I was just using this and doing like light stickering in it, I guess. Um, and just like you can put your meetings by times and then you have like sidebar stuff where you can do listing. And then I take a lot of notes at work. So I wanted to have like a lot of note space. So some, like I said, some days this ends up like 100% full and some days I like don't even use it. So which is great because in a rings you can just take out what you're not using, etc. So then this goes like every day. And then because of my work schedule, I actually just combine Friday and the weekend into one thing. And like, I don't really use that. Um, so then, um, splitting I wanted to have so then on the back side of that I have a different weekly insert um the next one's from Descendius Printables but what I figured I could do is like every week if I use this one week and then if I use the other insert the next week and I could just like reorder the pages because it's ring bound so I wanted to have this like kind of divided in there so I use the bookmark to mark my place but then I wanted to have this divider in there so I could easily find the other kind of insert if I wanted so the bows at the top the simply go to bows at the top indicate like a different kind of insert that's in the same category, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, so this is a, a scrap of acetate that um, came from the kit, and I just popped a Simply Gilded bow on there, and then I have another vellum. This one is from the kit, and like I said, this is a weekly insert from Jasenia's Printables that is like a little bit more simple, um, and this is what it looks like. So it's just like a week at a glance, and then um, this listing and this like extra listing. So then that's just what that looks like. So um, works that I'm like weeks that I'm not busy or I don't have a lot of meetings. Things, I could just use something like this like because then for work it's better to just have kind of like a running to-do list and I can put like deadlines and due dates over here but for works where I, weeks when I have like a lot of meetings and I'm very busy I can use like the daily insert so I just thought that was like kind of a cool optionality to have and then I'll put them like in order as I go throughout so I can choose like at the beginning of the week what kind of week I'm having if that makes sense so then on to my next one I have another dash with this is from the scribble prints go kit again and I laminated all of these I guess you don't really have to but I like having them laminated um, and then this pocket came with the kit and that is some of the actual sticky notes that I had turned into a die cut in the front and then on the back of this I have a pocket this is from Amazon um, and I just like split it open because I really just wanted this sticker sheet to fit in it um, and it didn't so I just split it open to hold that sticker sheet in there and then next I have a monthly insert um, and so I made myself again another one of those leaf dividers with the tabs from the kit and the stickers on the tabs are from the kit as well and then I have another vellum here and and then this is a um, this is an insert from Jasenius Printables as well, and I actually. Um, she has like a yearly overview. So I just put that in the front there, like taping over the notes pages because I like to have that. And then uh, it's like a year at a glance for 18 and 19. And then I actually just have the monthly insert in there. So this is what a blank one looks like. It's very similar to um, just like a plain standard monthly insert. And I, uh, this is like good for keeping track of like vacation days and um, like deadlines and stuff like that. So we'll see kind of, I'm debating a couple different things for this too going forward. But um and then I have this clip from Just Giovanna marking November. Um, well, it's really on October, but I don't want to show my October because I have like all work stuff on there. So anyway, so right now I just have it on November, which I have not planned yet. Um, okay, and I just did like light washing on that. So that's all I have in there. On to the next dash I have. Um, this is actually, this is really cool. So this, I looked up how to do this. Again, I can show a tutorial on it if you're interested. So I basically made myself like a folder and it's like so easy to do um, using laminating sheets because I didn't want to punch or laminate. I wanted to be able to reuse the Holly Nichols print like again and again if I want to or like frame it, whatever. I just think that her prints are so gorgeous. So I didn't want to punch it and I didn't want to laminate it. I didn't want to damage it or change it in any way. So I just slid it. I made myself basically like a dash sleeve um, and you can make these for TNs too. They actually seem pretty easy to make. Um, and then so on the back side of that, I have some paper from the kit and these die cuts are from um, Paper and Milk, which came with freebies with my PBC sale order.
So I just thought that was really cool. Um, and I have another one in there too. So then I have like a notes section, but this actually has a couple different things in it. Again, like figuring I could move it around if I needed to, like depending on where I want it, or I could leave it in here, just like all different kinds of notes or listing, if you will. Um, I probably should have called it listing, but at first it was just notes and then I kind of expanded from there. So the first one I have in here is um, a listing insert from Jesenia's Printables. It is just like the bow listing insert, like four sections listing insert or two sections, whatever you want to call it. So that is just, I thought that would be good for like longer running to-do lists or like you can put the project title, title up top and just anyways, go nuts with whatever you want to do there. So then on, if I you know, can grab onto the next bow up there for easy access and see the next kind of thing that I have. And this is actually a vellum folder that I punched and put in here. So I'm really excited about that. I was like, gotta have that vellum folder. So I did a Simply Gilded bow on top and then I put a sticky um, pocket on the on the bottom and put some more sticky notes in there. But this is actually a vellum folder so you can slip things in there as well, which I thought was really cool. So then the next one I have, this is actually, is this plain or? Yeah, so this is just plain dock red paper. I was sorry, I was just seeing which one this was. Um, so this is plain dock red paper. I just found this online and printed it myself. I printed a bunch of pages. I prefer dock red because it gives you a lot of flexibility to like draw setups you want or to like just take notes on. So I prefer dock red to, to lined always. So then my next stash one, I have another one of those stash sleeves that I can slide things in on the top because likewise I didn't want to damage this Simply Gilded journaling card, which I know it's like a little bit more crispy, uh, Christmassy, but it still felt kind of fall to me. And then I put some more of that leaf paper behind it. And then on the other side of that, I just have some scraps from the Scribble Prints Co. Kit. Um, this is actually like the backing from something, some more of the acetate scraps, and then um, a bow die cut. And then this, um, this insert is... Um, like an order tracker. Um, so I actually had this in my bullet journal and then I saw like Jesenia was doing like uh, inserts of that and I was like oh that's a good idea to move it into here. I've been like trying to move stuff out of my larger bullet journal as long as it's not like something that I would have to transfer a million entries like my kit tracking. But um, I the format for Jesenia's one, which is really nice, wasn't like exactly what I needed. So I just made my own. Oh, I do have this vellum here from the kit as well. Um, and I, whoa, I cut this super crooked well. Um, but anyway, I just like to be able to track when it ships, when I received it, and if I hauled it already. So I just like to have that. So I just printed these out myself. They're pretty easy. Although I didn't, this is like really bootleg. You can see I didn't like, everything should be slided over. And I just like, I kind of, mm, I kind of did not make a huge effort on this. But if I, if I like it and I keep doing it, then and if, when I need to print more, I can just like, clean them up a little bit. Um, and then my next dashboard here, I have more of the Scribble Prints Go paper. And then this is a journaling card from Two Little Bees, um, which I thought was really pretty. And I do have a Thanksgiving insert back here. Um, and this one, uh, oh, and on the back side of that, some of the paper. And then these die cuts are from Scribble Prints Go. And that one is from Rock Your Notebook with the little pies. I like that. I thought that was cute. So then this I have labeled as projects. And I actually have two different inserts in here like I have on the other one. So the first insert I have in here is actually one again that I designed myself. Oh, and I have a piece of leaf vellum. I keep forgetting about the vellums. Um, so uh, again, I just did on the back side of all the paper dot grid so that I would have more note space. So I made myself like a project um, insert. So like I could use this for like, work or for things around the house, just different stuff. So I have like the projects, like who it's for, who it's due, like contact info, like description, like resources. Like I work a lot with like data sets and different models. So I could write that in here. Um, and then like a to-do list. And then I have like two note pages. So I have that for every project. And I thought that would be cool. Cause then like, if I'm working on a project for a specific week, I can move that like to where I have my weekly spread and different stuff. I just thought that would be like a fun thing to try out. Um, so I'll see how I go and then I can always like refine the format as I needed. Um, so then if I, I can grab my bow to get to the next piece, I have a piece of acetate from the kit with a simply gilded bow. So to make it easy to grab for, and then, um, that pie vellum again, which I thought was perfect because I have the Jesenia's printable, um, Thanksgiving insert. Um, I had a really hard time getting the colors to this to print. I don't know why. Cause like usually I don't have any trouble, but this one came out. Okay. It looks like a little bit more muted than I think it's supposed to, but this is so cute. This is the from Jesenia's printable shop, and it's got like Thanksgiving 
like the menu, but like broken down by like all different categories. Um, this will be our second year cooking Thanksgiving. So, um, cause we don't go home for Thanksgiving anymore. It's just too much to go home at Thanksgiving and Christmas. And we have a lot more time at Christmas to go home. It's got like a shopping list. So I just thought this was so cute to do list. Like, a this is like that same weekly format that I have, but decorated for Thanksgiving. It's got like some grid paper and just all this stuff. So I thought that was super cute. So I just picked that up from Jacenia's shop. Um, and it, oh, and it's got a Black Friday shopping list, which how awesome is that? Um, so I just thought that was really cool. And I just have it already popped in here. Um, although if it's getting too chunky, I might take it out, but I think it's okay. Um, and then on the back side, I have my last stash. This is all stuff from the Scribble Prince Go Kit. Um, and as is this, except the Simply Gilded Bow. And then in the back pocket here, um, I have some of that leaf paper that I made myself and foiled. Um, I have another vellum pocket folder. This one was like a kind of an oops one that I was making when I was making stuff for the giveaway because I accidentally cut both sides, but I just stuck it in there anyways because you can still use them um and then i have this cute journaling card from paper and milk and another die kit die cut from scribble prince co and i don't think i did the clips at all while i was going through so i will go back and do them but as you can see serving no functional purpose i have just for some bottom bling um two studio signe bookmarks down here this with the pearl and then this with my initials in gold um both in gold and one on the pearl and this is on the claimin i think it's from pronounced I'm not sure um, and then as well I have a I have two peach bombs in here one here in like that burnt orange color um, and then I also have a fur and you paper dangle paper clip on this one which I think is really cute in this berry color um, and then as well over here I have a Kanko XOXO dangle clip on like a mini wide paper clip so that is super cute um, and then I actually have a Kanko XOXO velvet bow there in that kind of like fuchsia-ish color which I think is actually really pretty for fall um, and then this bow clip is from Just Giovanna I think that's like really precious um, and then I have another peach bomb in here as well. I forget the name of this color, maybe like berry or wine. Um, and it is from uh, Peach Palm as well. And then actually, oh, I forgot. I have another Just Giovanna, Just Giovanna um, dangle paper clip as well um, on this insert here. So that's really cute with like just the, with the plain gold beads there. So those are my clips. So that is everything all wrapped up for this video. I'll give it another 360 spin. I'm really happy with my first rings setup. Um, let me know in the comments below if you use like multiple planners, how do you divide up what goes in each planner? Um, Cause I'm really curious about that. Cause I've been like trying a bunch of different things and mixing it up um, and really enjoying myself. But like, you know, it's a, a constantly evolving system. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.